Welcome to Close Up Radio, where our hosts, Doug Llewellyn and Jim Masters, bring you the amazing stories of people who answered the call to unlock their potential and taken control of their own success with authenticity, creativity, persistence, and resilience. Close Up Radio special guests share their knowledge and wisdom so you, the listener, can live the most empowered life possible. Close Up Radio. And now, here's today's host, Jim Masters. Hey, so much for joining us. We are live worldwide on Close Up Radio. It's a pleasure to have you here. Also a pleasure to continue our extraordinary series with Tammy Alanis of Just Brooke, founder of Just Brooke, holistic dream life transformation coach. In addition, she has been a registered nurse for over 30 years She's also the author of My Lifetime Series to Dream Life, which I think is fantastic. She um, just broke the company, as we've been talking about, based on Cami really helping people remove their blocks, reset, rediscover themselves, create and live their dream lives. She's got nine books with several more in production. Yeah, she's a prolific writer. And over 100 videos on the website where the DIYers can pick up and choose the books and videos that resonate with them. And for those focused and ready to take a meeting lives, we've got bundles and courses available that you can start today as well. And she also gives you the tools, which I think is so important, uh, that she's used herself and created when she was stuck. And as a registered nurse, she uh, also understands the medical side of things as well as the emotional implications surrounding stress and burnout and blocks. It's also important to note that she's a certified practitioner of neurolinguistic programming, and her book, My Lifetime Series to Dream Life, provides her personal story of the challenges and triumphs that she has endured throughout her life. And in her future, she plans on uh, focusing full-time on coaching and public speaking, which is really exciting stuff. Yeah, and I've had an opportunity to meet her, and she really is a gem of a person. She really cares. And she's coming to us today from Albuquerque, New Mexico. You know, she's all over the place uh, helping people wherever she goes. It is my pleasure to uh, welcome her back to Close Up Radio Live as we continue our exclusive series together here on the program. Cammie, welcome back to Close Up Radio Live. A pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad to be back. Oh, we're glad to have you back as well and coming to us live from Albuquerque. And today we're going to be talking about expectation versus reality. And then we're also going to do an overview of the services to remind folks uh, of the incredible things you offer as well. For our listeners, as we always like to do, in case there's new folks who are tuning in, maybe you can recap your background and the incredible you, the work you do as a coach. Absolutely. So I'm Cami Alanis. I've been a registered nurse for 30 years. So I've spent the last 30 years studying people and helping them with their medical problems as well as their emotional well-being. I also obtained my certification of an NLP about 13 years ago and started using that to help my patients, myself, my friends, and clients. I'm truly a holistic dream life transformation coach. I integrate a healthy lifestyle with my, because of my medical knowledge, along with um, helping people to reset, rediscover themselves, and live their dream life with my NLP knowledge and the tools I've created where I felt NLP was lacking. I also have a spiritual component to what I do. I'm able to visualize a person and their problems so I can see exactly what's going on with them and immediately come up with a solution in my mind to get them to that goal that they uh, are requesting at whatever time, you know, that time that may take that's comfortable with them or for them. Also, I've had many of my own life struggles, as you can read in my lifetime series, The Dream Life, and I've learned to overcome many things that have gone wrong in my life. So when I assist people, I'm able to speak with them and help with help them very much from my heart with great passion and clarity because I've been there and I've gotten myself out of areas that I wasn't happy in. So I have all the tools created to help you out of those areas where you feel stuck as well. 
Uh, so very, very important, right? It, it's essential to be able to do that. And, and again, I know it's work that you are very passionate about. What is the relationship between expectations and then a person's reality and healing too as part of that? Well, there's times like we were talking about before the show where uh, expectations don't meet up with the person's reality because you may expect the best and get the worst or vice versa. But when a person is, the point I wanted to, the, the direction I want to take today is like when a person is in a good place versus when a person's feeling stuck. So to go on this little journey with me, have you ever wondered why some people, things just seem to always go their way? They're happy. Everything seems to fall into place. They expect the best. And without even realizing it, we expect the best for them. We expect their dreams and desires to be met, and they are. Then there's us. We work hard. We may even work harder than they do, but things just don't always turn out rosy for us. We find ourselves frustrated. Our faith may even suffer. We can't hear God or feel the Holy Spirit. We feel like we're at the bottom of a pit with rocky, slippery sides. A little might go right, and we feel like we're digging ourselves out of the pit. And then something happens. It might be as simple as someone calls us. You know, that person that talks neg- negatively about us to us. So we hang up the phone, feeling rotten, and just slide back to the bottom of that pit again. So what's the difference between us and those people that everything seems to go right for? The difference is we're stuck and they're not. And what's the difference in the way we think and the way they think? It's the difference in our expectations. Their expectations and their reality is everything's going to work in their favor. So it does. It doesn't mean everything that they set out to do is going to end up going the way they think it will. It just means that they're going to try with the expectation that all will work out in their favor. And occasionally things don't go their way. But when they don't, they don't leave feeling defeated they evaluate what went on they come up with a new plan and they come out fighting and successful or they realize it just wasn't meant to be but either way there's constant movement in their life and constant motion and they're able to refocus and recreate you know either the same situation with the tweaks needed to be successful or come up with a new plan they spend time with hobbies exercising and other resources that they found to move forward and have a positive outlook because they know that that positive energy comes from within and that's what fuels their reality of success and perpetual healing. Where on the other hand, when we feel stuck, there's something that's hurt our feelings. We may feel betrayed. We wonder what could have happened. Um, you know, I'm a good person. I don't deserve this. Our self-confidence gets shaken. We decide it's not going to happen again, then something else happens. We're still, we're left feeling like there must be something going on. We're having a spurt of bad luck, and this isn't going to happen again, but then something else happens. So our self-confidence starts to get shaken, and after a while, we start setting ourselves up for for rejection and things to go wrong with our in our lives without even realizing it. And the difference between that person where everything is going right And how we're feeling and how we're thinking is we're stuck. So now our reality and our expectations are we're stuck. We may even want to have some healing go on in our lives, but now we're realists and that can never happen to us. And so that's why I invented my company because I used to be that stuck person. And it doesn't mean that everything in our lives is going badly when we're stuck. Like, for example, I was very good at work. I worked full-time. I was a single mom. I was successful at that. Um, I took on call. I worked full-time, and I had a business where I took on call for six doctors every day when they were at lunch, and any time their office was closed, I was on call. So in that, that part of my life, I was very successful. But in other parts of my life, I wasn't so successful. And it, it's funny how they kind of play in together. And they worked together, even though I was having success in part of my life, that that emotion of 
you know, something's going to go wrong or, you know, I'm good at this, but so that part doesn't count. My focus was really on the area I was stuck in. And I've seen that happen with many people that I've worked with. You know, I've worked with patients for 30 years. In addition to people I've helped with neuro-linguistics programming and friends that I've had. Um, so, you know, over the years I've worked with thousands of people. And it all seems that we, at times, not everyone, because there are some of those successful people where it feels like everything goes right in their lives. And thank goodness I've moved to that mindset now. But in generally, in general, people do get stuck on one thing and it does start to affect the rest of their life. So that's why I'm so passionate about helping people with like the holistic approach to helping all areas of their life improve. Which is so incredibly important, right? It's a, it's like mind, body, and spirit. It's that whole picture, which I think is really, really important to focus on and uh, it makes for a balanced life as well. There's a couple of other things that you do. Maybe you can share with us about uh, the videos that are available on your platform as well. Absolutely. So, and, you know, I was in those areas where I was stuck, and we've talked about, you know, how many things have used to go wrong in my life. So I wanted to create videos. Some of them are audios. Some of them are videos. So I wanted to create a completely holistic approach to helping other people because when you when you completely look at every area of your life and you improve every area of your life, you are able to go to that, that first person we talked about where everything seems to go right for them. And so I, that's why I feel so passionate about, about what I do and about helping people and the holistic approach. So I have a number of videos online. I have transformational courses where people can um, sign up for those. Those are 30-day courses, and they include the entire Reset and Rediscovery series. I have created worksheets that take a very deep dive into what is blocking people, how long it's been blocking people, who in our lives it's affecting. Like last week, we talked about the accountability uh, aspect of things. So it takes takes that into um, into the learning about ourselves and, and, and all of that and growth. And it also includes five one-on-one coaching sessions with me. And those are, like I said, are 60-day courses. And I have Dream Life Transformation Secrets for Professionals, Be Happy Medical Staff and First Responders, Living Life Fully with Medical Conditions, Girl Time, Girl Talk, and Just for Guys. I also have transformational bundles, which are 30-day series, and they include all the worksheets we just talked about and two one-on-ones with me, and they are the Reset, Rediscover Yourself, and Gene Life Series, and then I have bundles without coaching and without worksheets, and those are anywhere from three to 30 days, and they are Reset, Rediscover Yourself, Gene Life Series, Recreating Yourself, Commitment, people annoying you because that does sometimes happen and medical management. And I've never like just given somebody a whole list of my courses or my, my videos that under the reset series, I have build your bubble so that we work together so that you have, are you able to build a bubble around yourself and that's your personal positive energy space. And so that's the first step to really start increasing your self love setting some boundaries and starting your process um, to being the person and living the life that you want to live. You're not an oxygen cylinder because a lot of times we hold things in and then we feel like we're going to just explode. So instead of handling things as they come along and, and, you know, kind of getting past each one, we bottle them up. So then we feel like we're going to explode and eventually we just start, you know, acting like we normally would not have because we have so much pent up inside of us. So that's to help ease things out of you slowly. We have relationships with friends and family. And uh, then this part are, I include NLP and some tools I created. Um, We clean the house, we clean your car, we clean your work area, we clean your desk and workspace. And when you're doing those things, you you know, you visualize what's going on in your life that you don't like, 
and you connect them with different things that you're cleaning. And then as you start to clean other things and, you know, reorganize, then you connect those with positive. And it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but as you continue and you grow through this process, every time you start cleaning house, that NLP will just start working in your mind. And those, all those jumbled up thoughts will automatically just start untangling and getting you to a more positive place in life. And then we take a deeper dive where we actually clean out doors and stuff. And that, that's the deal with the deeper issues that have uh, caused us to be stuck. There's a day when you pamper yourself. There's a day of reflection, of reflection, connecting with God, setting positive intentions, sleep, healthy diet, exercise, setting goals, getting outside, taking time for yourself, self-love, hobbies, health issues, forgiveness, ourselves and others, romance, building a bubble for two. And then under rediscovery, we rediscover ourselves. We are living life with intentions. Stop living in fear, relationships, stop the depression, downward spiral, health issues, guides and relationships, roadmaps, go for a walk, quiet self-time. And I teach you how to use NLP where I demonstrate it for you on how to remove blocks and barriers and how to anchor positive, building rapport with yourself, others, and difficult people, improving thought quality and how we speak to ourselves taking time for our personal belief, the art of noticing. Under dream life, we start to recreate ourselves, connecting with our younger self, our dream self, become our dream self, start living our dream life. And under commitment, and that commitment can be romantic commitment or friendships and other people we let into our circle of excellence. And those are, it really can be that easy. And is this the right person for me? And for people annoying us, that series series is why can't people just make us happy by doing what I say, stop the negative effects others have on us, overcoming feelings of abandonment, what to do when we feel empty, stop negative self-talk, overcoming self-isolation and facing adversity, and stop letting others control, uh, control you. And the medical management is change in health adjustment, dealing with medical conditions, loss of independence, medication, medical treatment compliance, overwhelm, burnout, caregiver, and death and dying, and how Medicare works. So I have just a whole holistic approach to helping you available. You sure do, and it's really incredible uh, the amount of attention that you've put into that extraordinary list that you just gave us. It really covers the gambit of so many things in our lives, which I think is extraordinary. Let's talk about, um, I mentioned it in the introduction, maybe we can expand on it, the Neuro Linguistic Programming, NLP, what it actually is, and how you so beautifully integrate that into your coaching. So Neuro Linguistics Programming is similar to having, well, it's a, we all have roadmaps in our minds. And we get from point A to point B. At first, we put a lot of thought into how we're going to get from point A to point B. But over time, we go into autopilot. So we don't really think about getting from point A to point B and putting that thought into it like we used to. That's when our road gets a little bit bumpy and there may be potholes that come up. So neurolinguistics programming is designed to help you get from point A to point B using the strengths and the desires of your present day as opposed to something that worked years ago, but using those strengths and desires of present day to help you get to that area and it creates a detour around what you used to do so that way you have a fresh start and a fresh way to get from that point A to point B and it allows you to release things from the past and build up the good things in your life. And I, I, integrate that with my coaching with, with, you know, the videos, some of them are specifically geared towards NLP. But when I, when I speak to people, I want to know about them and I want to know, just like have a conversation, like you and I have conversations and, and just find out a little bit about them, find out, you know, kind of what makes them click, what they want to move towards. And I help them move away from what they don't want to move, that they don't want in their life anymore but instead of focusing on the negative, we focus on the positive. 
and we use things like removing blocks and it's more of an advanced uh, NLP um, feature, I guess, but I can help people with parts integration. So sometimes there's a part of us that really wants to like do something. They, we really want to go on that trip, but or we really want that relationship, but there's a part of us that is in conflict, and that conflict may be like there may be like a younger person in your life for a relationship. There may be a, a younger person in your life who really just wants to please someone. And then there's an older part, part of you that really wants like that adult time with that person. And then maybe a negotiator in you that just feels in conflict because all these parts need this person or don't want this person. So it can be very, it can be very stressful. And so we can work to make all those parts work together where all parts of us feel satisfied. And so that way we're not self-sabotaging ourselves without even realizing it. And we combine those areas, and that allows for an overall peace and happiness with whatever decisions we're going to make. That's really important. The peace is a big piece, unintended, of the equation. What happens emotionally and medically, mind, body, spirit, if you don't get to the root causes and un- start to unblock things? Well, when a person's blocked, it can have huge emotional and medical implications. Many times when a person's stuck, um, we don't even realize that we're losing self-love and self-confidence. And as those things decline in us, what used to be important may not have as much importance anymore. It may be difficult to concentrate. It may be difficult to have fun. Um, our stress increases. And many times people that should be on medications or, or people that do eat, eat healthy and exercise, a lot of times they'll stop doing those things. And people with disease processes, uh, their blood pressure can rise, their blood sugar or whatever ailment they have may get out of control. And regardless if a person has health problems or not, a lot of times people's blood pressure will start going up because stress and anxiety and not sleeping well, that all kind of combines to cause high blood pressure in many people. Chest pain, headaches, a hard time sleeping, and there may be other physical ailments that people start having because of the stress and because not be, because they are blocked. And the leading cause of heart disease is high cholesterol, diabetes, obesity, unhealthy diets and physical activity, inactivity. So these are not, these are many things that we can prevent in ourselves by not being blocked. Once we remove that block, we ultimately will be in a better place emotionally, and then we'll start taking care of ourselves. I've worked with people for over 30 years, and every one of those elderly people that has spoken anything about their age has told me, I don't know where the time went. I got old so fast. I don't know how this happened. And the majority of those people say that they wish they would have listened when they were younger and would have prevented all of this that's going on in their life. So this is your Mm -hmm. opportunity to fix the past where, you know, fix your past from whatever situation that has caused you to be stuck today. And by fixing your current self, that uh, will help your future self not be stuck and prevent, in many cases, prevent or minimize long-term effects on your health. So important. Yeah, really, really so incredibly important. Really amazing, you know, the the work that you do because you really help people, you know, self-honor, self-love, accountability, all these things you have to you can give them the tools and, and rich information, but they also have to take the responsibility and put one foot in front, like we talked last week about accountability. And now we're sort of balancing out expectation versus reality. In your professional opinion, as a coach, what do you consider? And again, this could be different for different people, but generally, what do you consider a fulfilling life? And it is different for each person, but a fulfilling life is to assist a person to meet their goals. 
because once their original goals are met, it is unbelievable how these goals get bigger and better each time you attain one. And for me personally, I love helping people remove their box, reset, and rediscover themselves and start living their dream life. It's completely amazing watching and listening to a person go from a state of feeling nervous and frustrated and defeated and watch them over the course of us working together because they blossom into an age-regressed person. Their stress level leaves all those little lines on their face. They, like, literally look 10 to 20 years younger after we get things balanced in their life. They walk with confidence. They smile. They talk to people where they used to be more on the quiet side. They grow into a magnetic personality, and they draw people to come near them. And they really come out of their shell. They, you can just see the self-love in them. Their words change from I should do this to I am doing this. And they really just start new activities. They remember or find things for the first time in their life that they're really good at. They laugh a lot. They enjoy life. And they look so much younger. And their blocks are gone. And those blocks are now replaced with wisdom. So they very much enjoy that. And they also know whatever life goes away from this point on, they've overcome this huge hurdle and this huge block in their life. So they will not stay stuck. They are able to just look at a situation and decide, you know, is this going to affect me long term? If it is, they, you know, like we talked about a while ago, deal with the stressor, fix it, and move on. And if it's not, they're able to just let it go. So it's truly humbling and gives me butterflies as I watch people go through their transformation and I truly love them and, and I love being able to help them. That's so gratifying and so important, isn't it? To be able to do that it is. in the way that you do it. It is. Yeah, <laughs> yes. it is. And you know what the coolest part is? I too look younger because I'm, I'm satisfied. <laughs> My stress lines that I used to carry around are gone. And every time I look at them, I look 10 or 20 years younger, too. So I'm all for it. Mm. It's incredible. It really, really is. It's amazing when you think about it on so many levels. What what can the listeners do to help in the, the process with all of this? They can believe in themselves. They can walk away from self-doubt and take me take my hand. And I will show them all the steps they need to get unstuck, remove their blocks, reset, rediscover themselves, and live their dream lives. Because I truly have been there, and I I truly want to help them. And I have everything figured out for them. They just all they need to do is believe in themselves and have that little bit of hope that things can be better and not settle for this is the way it's been for so many years. I'm a realist. It can never happen. <clears throat> they need to give up that mindset because it truly can change. It really can, right? And that's a key thing for people to re- remember. If folks are loving this conversation and they want to make contact and learn more and things of that nature, what's the best way they can do that, Cammy? My website is www.justbrook.net. That's J-U-S-T-B-R-O-O-K-E.net. Or they can email me at Cami, K-A-M-I, at justbrook.net. Really a real pleasure speaking with you on so many different levels. And, of course, the listing of uh, Cami's courses, you can visit Just Brook Catalog. And, again, justbrook.net. In the book, My Lifetime Series to Dream Life, a real personal approach there, a personal story of the challenges and triumphs that she's endured throughout her life. She's very authentic and real about it. And she's the complete package. I mean, everything she's talked about today can really help transform your life. As she is a holistic dream life transformation coach, she's also lived it herself, as well as being a registered nurse for over 30 years. Cammie, this is extraordinary. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Hope you enjoyed the time with me as much as I always have with you. And hopefully we'll chat some more, maybe even hear some testimonials and success stories. That would be uh, fantastic as well. Thanks for joining us on Close Up Radio Live once again. A pleasure.
I always enjoyed my time with you, too. Thank you so much. You're very, very welcome. You take care and keep up the extraordinary work. Tammy Elenis of Just Brooke joining us here on Close Up Radio Live. We appreciate her very much, and we appreciate you very much as well. I'm your host, Jim Masters, thanking you for your time this time. Till next time. Stay with us. More great episodes and guests coming up in just a moment right here for you on Close Up Radio Live. Till then, for all of us, have a terrific day. Thanks for listening, and bye for now. You have been listening to a broadcast from Close Up Radio, a division of Close Up Television Incorporated. For more information about our show and to be considered for future broadcasts, please visit CloseUpTelevision.com. You may also learn about us on social media and listen to us on podcast and internet radio. Thank you for joining us, and we hope that you have an empowered and productive day. Health Specialists of New Mexico is part of New Mexico Cancer Center. Along with top-notch cancer treatment, Health Specialists provides ENT services. They diagnose and treat sinus disorders and provide surgery for gastrointestinal diseases. Schedule an appointment today, 505-842-8171. Fargo, the new virtual assistant from Wells Fargo, makes banking faster and easier. Like this. Fargo, what's my checking account routing number? And this. Fargo, uh, turn off my debit card. And this. Fargo, what did I spend on groceries last month? And that's just the beginning. Do you, Fargo? You can. In the Wells Fargo mobile app. Learn more at wellsfargo.com slash getfargo. Terms and conditions apply. Your mobile carrier's availability and message and data rates may apply. Wells Fargo Bank, N.A., member FDIC.